to Capital Land Park. Spring training baseball coming your way. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Atlanta Braves. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Underway, and our pitcher in this game, Bryce Elder. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes the mound? You execute it. Just a long strike. You go. And Devers hits that one. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Throws to second, and that's a double. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. And today's starting pitcher, Brian Bayo. What should we keep an eye on here? Comes a 2-2. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing. Swing and that one hammered down the line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is out of here. Hunter Renfro hits one out, and they jump ahead in the second. It's one nothing. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Another one. Back-to-back -back homers, and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. As we get a look at the numbers, StatCast tells us exactly what we were all thinking. This is one of the longest home runs we have ever seen. Yeah, that ended up just shy of 500 feet, which is just, it's absolutely crazy that you can have that kind of pop. And I got Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. So he blasts one out the other way, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average as well. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Around second now, going for three. And this is going to be a two-out triple. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap right out of the box i love how he was hustling and i think he knew he's going for three as soon as it touched sharp grounder that's through for a base hit everything came together for this one blasted deep to left way out of here home run He'll circle the bases, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 3-2. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it.
Milwaukee, and he hit a grand slam in his big league debut. You know, one thing I've always admired about him is his ability to handle left-handed pitching. Stays in the big part of the field and just has a nice swing path. Stays in the zone a long time. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the Line drive, that's a base hit. Crawford headed for the plate. One runs in. In there, he's safe. Four to three, they take the lead. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. 28 gets the ball now. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And they hold him at third. 90 feet away with two out. Back-to-back -back base hits. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking. That one is absolutely belted way back there. And that ball is out of here. He sends one out the opposite way. His second home run of the game, it's 5-4. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. That's an incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep, trusting your hands, and driving it out the other way. That's how you practice it in the cage. Incredible when you can translate it into the ball game. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Ozzie Albies goes the opposite way, and it ties it up. It's 5-5. Five, five. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the... And there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Spencer Strider. That kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That one ripped. Harris, raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And he's got a double. He was all over that one. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his bat. A chance now to take the lead, and at this box. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Here comes Renfro around third. He's safe. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Oh, right to the backstop. Casas in to score on the wild pitch. here Luis Severino he has a great slider with tons of Schuster comes on now and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming ripped to the right center should be extra bases one runs in runner around third on his way to the plate he scores as well it's nine to five Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. The ball over to a new arm. Brian Mata. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So Jimenez into the game. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Here comes the one. And that one hammered. And it hits the fence. 
The relay throw. Slides his hand in there. Safe. And it's now a six-run lead. Well done. Drives in the run. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. One. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Ozzy Albies goes yard. He's done it. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Entered the game on defense, so this is his first trip to the plate in this one. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Hernandez throws to second, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within his get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A towering shot to right. And they add on. It's 12-8. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. That one ripped left field. That's back. And it's out of here. He powers that one out to left. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 13-8. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, boo. I mean, empty. Now, Brandon Marsh. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. And in one hops the wall. Round second, digging for third. And he's got himself a triple. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. Center fielders in today's game are so talented and so athletic. So when you blast one to deep center and get it to drop in, you know you're not. And now it's going to be Sidane Rafaela out towards left center. And that one hops the wall. Iglesias around third. He'll score easily. It's 15 to 8. Wastes no time there. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. And that's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Here, because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. And he'll put it away. Ball game. And the Red Sox slug their way to a win in this one. Well, Summit from the bullpen had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the.